In this problem, we're told a speeding car is traveling at a constant 30 meters per second when it passes a stationary police car. If the police car delays for one second before starting, what must be the magnitude of constant acceleration of the police car to catch the speeding car after the police car travels a distance of 300 meters? So what we're trying to do is fall, uh, solve for the police car's constant acceleration, right? So we're given these options. And so the way you want to do this problem is first by understanding how it works and by drawing what's going on. So I sort of drew what was going on here, right? So uh, you really want to understand uh, what's happening. So what happens is we have two cars, right? So one is this, imagine this right here is the speeding car, this is the police car, right? So what's going to happen is this speeding car is going to pass by this police car, right? And so at this point, they're at the same, they're the same distance, right? So you can imagine this is the starting point. And then what's going to happen is this car is going to travel for one second, right? Because this one is, or the police car is going to have to react, right? So it's going to speed past it at 30 meters per second. And it's going to travel. And then we know it's going to take one second for this guy or for the police car to recognize it, right? So how far is he going to travel in this time? Right, so if he's going 30 meters per second and he travels for one second, well, he's going 30 meters per second, right? So he's going to go 30 meters. So basically, this speeding car is going to be 30 meters ahead of our police car, right, at the beginning point. So keep in mind, this is the beginning point, right? And what's going to happen is we know the police car is going to travel 300 meters, right? goes 300 meters, and it's going to catch up to the uh, speeding car, right? So they're going to be at the same point. So how do we want to solve for this? So what we're trying to do is solve for the acceleration right here, right? So what we're going to do is use kinematics. So the first thing I always like to do is write out the given of the variables. So keep in mind the variables we're given. We're trying to solve for the acceleration of the police car. So what we want to do is use the variables related to the police car. So one of the variables is its change in uh, position, right? Which is going to be 300 meters. So we know it's going to change 300 meters in this interval, right? Because it's, kind of, it's trying to catch up right after it travels this distance, 300 meters. Right, so we know that. And then we also know its initial velocity, right? Because we know it's going to start from rest, right? Because at this point, this one's traveling 30 meters per second, but this one's at rest. So V sub 0, 0 meters per second, right? And what we're trying to do is solve for A. So those are all the variables we're explicitly uh, given, but there's one more variable that we can find uh, based on the other car. So what we can do is find time, and I'll show you how this works. So think about it. This one's going to be one second ahead, right? And it's going to catch up after this one, or after this one travels 300 meters. So we want to find how far it, or how long it took this one to travel how long, or to how far, 270 meters, right? Because this one's going to travel 300, and they're going to be at the same point once this one travels 270. So if we can find out how long it, uh, it took this one to travel 270, it's going to be the same amount of time it took this one to travel 300, right? Because this one starts 300 me or 30 meters ahead, right? Which is why this one's 270 instead of 300. But if we can find how long it takes when, uh, this one to travel 270, they're going to be at the same point, right? Because it's going to catch up after 300. But this one starts 30 ahead. But yeah, hopefully you understand that. But if this one's going to travel 270 meters, how long is it going to take him, right? It's going to take him 9 seconds, right? Because the reason that is he's 1 second ahead, or basically he's going to travel 270 meters at this speed 30 meters per second, right? And so we know distance equals velocity times time. And, right, the distance, 270 meters, at a velocity, which is 30, so if you divide by V, uh, T equals the distance 270 divided by 30, which is just 9. So it's going to be 9 seconds. That's how long it's going to take this car to travel 270 meters. Right? So this time equals 9 seconds. But we know the time this one's traveling 270 is the same as this one traveling 300, right? Because it's catching up. Because this one starts at 30, this one starts at 0. But yeah, so basically the time of the police car to get to 300 is 9 seconds. Right, so we just use that to find the time now. And so now we have the time, we have the change in its position, we have the initial velocity, so we can solve for A. So what we want to do is use one of these equations. Uh, I recommend using this one, right, because notice how we don't have, we're trying to solve for A, right, so we, we're not going to use that one. And then uh, we don't have the final velocity. So we don't want to use this one or this one, but this one we can use. So we're going to use delta x equals v sub 0 times t plus 1 half a t squared. So we're trying to solve for a, so all we have to do is plug it in. So 300 is equal to the initial velocity, which is 0. 0 times the t, which is 9, is still going to be 0. So we can just ignore that. And it's going to be plus 1 half times a, which is what we're solving for, multiplied by t squared. So t is just 9, so 9 squared. Uh, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this 1 half. Uh, 2 times 300 is 600. So 600 times a times 9 squared. 9 squared is just 81. So it's just 81a. What you want to do is divide by 81. So 600 and then divide by 81. So if you do that, you'll get A equals 7.407.
So you can just round to 7.41, then the units are meters per second squared. So this is going to be the acceleration, right? The magnitude of the police car's acceleration to catch. And if you look at our options here, we can see that D is the same as what we got. So 7.41 meters per second squared, that's going to be uh, the acceleration or your answer to this problem.